Hi everyone, welcome to week seven of the course. This week we're going to look at a table-based application, which in Xcode is called a master detail application. So I'd like you to start Xcode and create a new project. So go to File, New, Project, and you'll get this screen here. Uh, now just be aware that uh, I'm using the latest version of Xcode, uh, which is different to the version of Xcode that I've been using in previous weeks because Apple has just updated it. So now the latest version is 4.3.1. And the significance of that is that some of these templates uh, have changed. Um, so if you're using a previous version of Xcode, earlier than 4.3.1, then what you will see in this template will be different to what you'll see in this video. So it's important that you upgrade to 4.3.1. Okay, so let's select Master Detail Application. And we're going to call this Sports Names and make sure it's for the iPhone and use automatic reference counting. And then save it where you want to save it. Okay, so let's run the application and see what Apple gives us in the template. So this is a typical table with rows that can be selected. Um, and in this case, Apple has also given us a plus button to add things to our table and also an edit button so that we can delete things from the table. Now, it, the template is set up so that every time you hit the plus button, it takes the date from the computer and the time from the computer and makes that the text of the row. Okay, and you can see that the addition of a new row is animated as well. And if we select one of these rows, okay, it transitions to a detail view and the text from that row is then placed into a label. Okay. And we can delete any of these rows by hitting the edit button and then hitting the delete button. And we can also do the same with the swipe gesture. Swipe left to right and hit the delete button. So we get all that functionality for free. It's already set up for us in the template. But what we're going to do is modify this template so that when you hit the plus button, we get a UI alert view pop up, uh, which contains a text field that we can type in the name of a sport. And then when we hit the enter button, that the name of that sport will be listed on our table. So if we go to masterviewcontroller.h, first thing that we've got to do is because we're using an alert view, we need to conform to the UI. Sorry. Oops. We need to conform to the UI Alert View Delegate Protocol. Okay, so we just place that there. Now the other thing that we need is a NS string variable or an NS string instance variable, and we're going to create that via a property. Now uh, the reason for doing that is not to display the name on the screen in a label, but to store the value of the name that is typed into the alert view. Okay, so if we create a property, and because it's just a string, and it's not associated with something that we can see on screen, then we can't click and drag from an object, a visible object on the screen like we've done in previous weeks. So we just have to do it manually by hand. So we want an NS string. And we're going to call this sport name. Okay, head on over to the dot M. And we need to synthesize that property now. 
Okay, so when you type in the sport name into the UI alert view text field, then the value of that will be stored in this property here. Okay, now um, what I'm going to do now is take you through some of these methods and um, modify them. So you, you might see here that uh, the, the, the name in the title bar or the navigation bar when we first launched the application was called master. Now this is just a string variable so we can delete that and change it to just a static string like that. So now if we run that application so now we have sport names as our title. Okay. Now in the view did load method here, you can see this is where Apple have set things up to create the edit button and also to create the plus button, the add button. Okay, and you can see that there's an actual a, a an inbuilt um, icon for that. Um, and you can see here, <clears throat> see here UI UI bar button system item add. Okay, so that's inbuilt into the uh, into the um, operating system. And when you hit that button, this is the method that gets called insert new object. And you can see down here, here's the method. So when you hit the plus button, this method will be called. Okay, and what this is doing is you can see here that there is um, a mutable and NS mutable array that is being created here. If we go back over to the dot H, actually no, it's at the top of the the dot M. You can see here that NS mutable array called objects is being declared here. Okay, so that's where the names of our sports can be stored. Okay, and if you remember from previous weeks, a mutable array is one that can be changed. We can add objects to it and we can take them away. Okay, so Apple has already uh, declared that mutable array for us and it's called objects underscore objects. So when you hit the plus button, this method insert new object gets called. Now all this is saying is if there is not a mutable array already called objects, then create one, allocate it and, and initialize it, and then simply call the insert object method at index zero. Okay. Now that's slightly different from uh, previous weeks when we've looked at adding objects to a mutable array. We've used the add object method, and the add object method will add the new object as the last object in the array. But if you notice when we ran this application, and if we run it again, and hit the plus button, okay, it adds the new object as the first row. Okay? And you can see that because it's inserting the object at index zero. And as we know from previous weeks, the very first uh, object is object 0 and then the second one is index 1, third one index 2, etc. So that makes sense now. It's inserting that object in the uh, the very first row. Okay. Whereas if we had have called add object it would add the new object to this fourth row. Okay, so it's adding the object into the database, the array, okay, and then this line here is actually creating the animation, so with row animation, okay, so it's it's getting uh, the object from the array and then animating it, okay, so we're gonna um, we're going to modify some of these methods now. 
Now when we hit insert new object, we don't actually want to do this in this method here. What we want to do in this method is to create the UI alert view. Okay. And we will do all of this in one of the delegate methods of the UI alert view. So for the time being, I'll just put all that down there. And so all we simply want to do is create a UI alert view. We'll call it alert equals UI alert view alloc init with title, message, etc. So our title of the alert view needs to be a string. So we can say add sport. The message is a string as well. Please enter a sport name. The delegate is self. The cancel button title will be cancel. Other button titles will be okay. Close off the method and semicolon. Okay, now we need the type of alert view where you can type something in. So the default style of alert view doesn't have that. So we need to say alert dot alert view style equals UI alert view style plain text input. Okay. And then we can show it. Alert show.